So in this question, we have a charge moving into a magnetic field at right angles to it, and we have a known velocity and we have a known magnetic field, and we want to know what the radius of curvature is, because this charge is experiencing a force, a Lorentz force, due to the magnetic field. Now to help us understand that question, it's always good to draw a diagram. So let's first start off with our magnetic field. And we're given a value of 0.2 millitesla. We know our, we have a charge moving into that field, and it is an electron, like so, and we know it's moving at a velocity of 2 by 10 to the power of 7 meters per second. Now, that charge is going to experience a force, and that force is going to be in the direction of downward. And so this is going to turn here like so, as long as it stays in the magnetic field, and it's this radius of curvature that we are looking for. Now that we've got that written down, we've got our data presented here, and we also now need to work out what equation. Now, there are two equations in this case that we need to consider. The first is the Lorentz force equation, and that says simply that the force is equal to QVB. Now, it is sine theta, but since this is at right angles, we can ignore the theta for at the moment. It's actually sine uh, 90, which is 1. Our other force is the force that is due to the centripetal force. So this is the Lorentz force, this is the centripetal force, and that is equal to mv squared over r. Because the charge is experiencing a force always perpendicular to its motion, and so that's a centripetal force. Now these two forces are equal. So you can solve this one of two ways. You can work out what the Lorentz force is and then substitute it into the centripetal force formula to work out our radius. Now I'm going to put the two together. You're just going to be careful in exam conditions that you don't stuff this up. So these two forces are equal, so I can make this QVB is equal to MV squared over R. Then if I rearrange that, I get R is equal to MV squared over QVB. And then what you end up getting here is the V cancels out. So we have MV over QB. Now that we've got everything written in, we can now substitute it in. And so our R value is equal to the mass, the mass of our electron and the fundamental unit of our charge for our electron is given in the formula sheet, which you can get into my resources on the Physics High website. So we have our mass, which is 9.1 by 10 to the power of negative 31. We have our V, which is a given, of course, is 2 by 10 to the power of 7. And I'm going to leave the units off for this moment, just for neatness purposes. And our charge is 1.6 by 10 to the power of negative 19. And our final uh, value is 0.2 millitesla. So th that is 2 by 10 to the power of negative 4. Now you can be careful there with your prefixes. And if you do that calculation, you're going to get a value of 0.569 me meters. Of course, that roughly approximates to 50 seven centimeters. So there is your answer to the curvature of radius in this problem.